Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I did these awesome Grinch nails. Okay, I finally have a client today. It's getting kind of festive around here. So today my client is back after, I think it's been five weeks. I don't know if you guys saw this YouTube video of me doing these Nightmare Before Christmas nails, but if you haven't, you definitely need to check it out. First, I'm just removing her gel polish using my Bye 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 gel removal bit. And then I'm also going in with my Da Bomb cuticle bit. I love this bit for removing cuticles. By the way, guys, every single thing you see me use in this video besides the acrylic, you can purchase on my website. I will link everything that I use in this video in the description below. After cleaning up her cuticles, I'm just going in with my 120 grit pink sanding bands and prepping her nails. Then I'm gonna just dehydrate her nails, which is just removing the moisture from her natural nail. I use Valentino's dehydrator and I also use their primer. So I'm going in priming her nails two times and then I'm using my size 12 acrylic brush to fill in her nails. I believe I'm using Not Polish's clear acrylic and then I mixed a custom glitter acrylic myself to create this cool like clear holographic mixture. I believe that this set took about three and a half hours and we also did a repair on her hand that I didn't actually record. So typically if a client has waited this long to get a fill, their nails are gonna be unbalanced and start to curl down and lose structure. So I always add a bead down here and then I just flip my brush backwards and stroke up, then flip it down and stroke down and add some body to the bottom of the nail. I don't know how to explain to you guys how I file. I'm still trying to perfect my shaping myself, but here's a video. So uh, yeah, kind of just go straight up and down on the sidewalls and then I hit the underneath. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know how to explain this shit, so just watch. Then I finish her acrylic off with my Work It bit and here's the final foundation. Now, bitch, this color is called Inside a Snowflake. And it is so freaking pretty. It's like a jelly crystal reflective blue. Now with two coats, it's even more blue and reflective, but with one, this is the the like look we're going for. Like more of a jelly clear crystal-y look. I kind of wanted this theme to be inspired by like Mount Crumpet in Grinch, the movie Grinch, because that's where he lives. And it's like an icy mountain, so just wait until the end to see what I'm talking about. The color that I used for the base of him was called You're a Mean One. I'm obsessed with this color. It's like a shimmery green, and it's so perfect for doing the Grinch. You don't have to do white underneath of it first, but I just prefer to do that because it always makes colors pop. I'm getting the sketches on his face and his body with my black shading gel. And then I'm just filling in down here with this new green from the collection. It's called That's Not Santa because it's the Grinch, duh. Next, I'm filling in his eyes with the color Glow Stick and then taking my baddest black liner gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish all facial features and details on this character. By the way, you guys, I am using my nine millimeter liner brush right now. And you'll also see me using a little bit of the Hella Cute liner brush in this video as well. When you're doing characters, you really want to pay attention to line weight. In the facial features of characters, it should be nice and thin and crisp. If you do the facial feature line work too thick, it's not going to look very complete or detailed or correct. Um, I find that doing the outline of characters pretty bold really makes them pop when you put it against the thinner line work inside the facial features. But that's just my personal preference. I really love this nine millimeter brush. You guys can also get this on my website. Like I said, everything I used will be found on there. With this brush, as you see, I can do thick lines, I can do thin lines, I can do long lines, short lines. It has amazing control. It's also the perfect length, especially if you're like a beginner artist and you don't know what kind of brush length to buy. It's not too long and it's not too short, so I feel like it's the perfect length of brush. Moving on, I'm using my Oops I Did It Again red liner gel to just get the red in his eyes and look at how cool he's coming out. Now, just to take this character to the next level, you already know I gotta add my shading. By doing that, I'm just adding some black shading gel to the character. Now, let's move on to Max. 
For the base outline, I'm using my Level Up White Liner Gel and then I'm filling it in with my White Out Gel Polish. It's really hard how to explain how I proportionate characters. Honestly, everything that I'm laying down, I'm constantly measuring in my head and comparing it to the line that I placed down before. After laying down the white part of him, I'm just going in with my black shading gel again. I'm getting the initial sketch. This is so I can just go ahead and lay down the base color of him and know exactly where all the colors go, so I'm not just guessing it. The color I'm using right now is Bear It All from my new complexion collection. And then I'm just filling in his ear right here with the color Mocha Magic. For his antler up at the top, I'm using My Sunshine. I think I mixed a tiny, tiny little bit of brown into it. And then I'm just filling in his scarf with my Oops I Did It Again red liner gel. Now you see that his scarf is shimmery. I went ahead and added the color I Slay. That's also from the new Christmas collection onto his scarf. And I put some ornaments up on his antler with some various gel colors from my collection as well. And now it's time to bring him to life. Again, I'm just using my baddest black liner gel and I am getting the outlines and details on his face. So funny because when I was looking up inspo pics on the Grinch, there are so many Grinches. Who asked for that many Grinches? Actually, I love all the Grinches, but you know which one I don't really like? I don't really like the new Grinch. Why did we ever need a new Grinch after the Jim Carrey Grinch? Like the Jim Carrey Grinch was all we needed. Like that was the best Grinch ever. That was the best Grinch movie ever. And why did we ever need a new one? No one asked for a new one. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> These little shapes in his eyes were so hard. I don't know why they were so hard, but they were. And they came out so cool. And then the last thing we have to do on him now is add some shading. And uh, I just can't get over how much this really just takes it to the next level with your art and makes it look so cool. Now this nail was my favorite one of all of them. We did another Grinch, of course, because one Grinch wasn't enough. And I love how this one came out. His outlining was pretty complicated here. I'm trying to do a hand connecting to his face and I couldn't really capture that well. I'm going in with the white liner gel in the white out gel polish and then I'm filling in with that amazing color again called You're a Mean One. Now we gotta get our outline. I swear. Another reason why I love to use the shading gel to get my outlines is because, think of it as a pencil. It's so easy to erase in a pencil, but it's not as easy to cover up a dark colored pencil or like a marker. <laughs> so with black liner gel, if you need to erase, it's much harder to erase. With shading gel, it just wipes right off with alcohol. Also, if you need to fix something later after you've cured it, it's kind of easier to mask and change where you put your black outline because, yeah, it's not as dark. And then I'm just getting the outline of his eyes and his facial features. All these little thin lines on his face were so much fun. I had so much fun painting this one. And wait until you guys see how this came out. Like, I think I captured his expression and everything about him so good.
Look at him. Would you just look at him? Oh, love it. And then this shading gel I put under his little hair thing up here, under his nose, in the cracks of his like frown lines, under his mouth. Anywhere that kind of would look more forward in a picture that would have shadows underneath it. That's where I add my shadows. Last but not least, we have Cindy Lou Who. Not gonna lie, her outline was pretty complicated too, but I love how she came out. The color I'm using for her skin tone is from my new complexion collection. It's called Baby Doll. The pink that I'm using down here on her dress is called My Boo. And of course I'm using the Oops I Did It Again red lighter gel for up on her bow. I did decide to go in with that I Slay red reflective jelly color on her bow as well. And for her hair, I'm using the color My Sunshine. The last thing to do is add the shading underneath her little outfit right here, a little bit under her neck, under her nose, and on her dress. Now, to give it that Mount Crumpet feel, I wanted to make it look like a snowy topped like mountain or like snowy icicles over this clear blue jelly, and it came out so beautiful. And for the final reveal, look at how amazing these nails came out. I can't stand it. The name of this Christmas collection is called The Nail Tech Who Stole Christmas. Anybody who loves nails and loves the Grinch definitely needs to pick up one of these collections ASAP. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also drop me a comment. Let me know what other holiday nail art themes you'd like to see me do on my channel. Don't forget that everything I use in this video you can find on my website in the description below. And I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye guys.